Hello everyone. Uh, in this session, we are going to discuss the development of an ALV report to display vendor data. So this is uh, with top of page. In the previous uh, project, we have done without top of page, and in this, we are going to introduce the concept of top of page. So I am going into SC11 transaction. In this SC11 transaction, I am checking out a table called LFA1, which actually has the vendor data. So in this LFA1 table. We'll be picking up a couple of fields like uh, three, three or four fields. Uh, we can take it uh, just for our understanding. And later we can increase the number of fields once we get the understanding of a concept. So basically here we'll be adding an additional feature called a top of page in the in the report output, and we are going to uh, get a standard uh, top of page for that. So let's take LIFNR, LAN one, name one, and ORT zero one. These are the fields that we'll take. And for this, in this we have the underscore GP. So wherever we have the data element as underscore GP, we need to enter that as under, underscore GP in the in the in the de description of the program. Uh, in, in defining the field properties as well so i'll go for now here we have this particular alv which we are defining for vendor and in this we actually create we'll be creating a, a, a executable program alv for vendor data you can give any text and executable program just now i'll i'll save it in the local object because local object was you know uh, this is a sample program but normally in the project we always have to do it in the package so once we do this here we have tables we'll use lfa1 here and then we have types begin of st underscore lfa1 and end of st underscore lfa1 We'll take two more fields like OT01, which actually stands for CP, OT01 underscore GP, and then we'll take LAN1, type LAN1 underscore GP. And the reason where we're taking LAN1 underscore GP is if you check the LF1 table, you have the data element as name1 underscore GP, OT01 underscore GP, and LAN1 underscore GP. So we have this, and uh, next we have something like data. IT underscore LFA one type standard table of ST underscore LFA one and then we have another field called W underscore LFA one type ST underscore LFA one. Now once it's been done, uh, we need to also declare the field catalogs. So the field catalogs of the IT underscore F cat type SLIS underscore P underscore field cat underscore ALV and W underscore F cat type SLIS underscore field cat underscore ALV and we have IT underscore top type SLIS underscore P underscore list header W underscore top type SLIS underscore List header. So these are the things that we have to mention here for the list header. So if you go and check this uh, structures, you would already have this particular fields here. In this, we have TYP, key, and info. In the TYP field, we can give only three values H, S, or A header, selection, and action. Only three fields will be entertained there in that particular field catalog. So once it's been done, we'll go for select options. underscore lfnr for lfn hyphen lfnr and once it's been done we'll go for the either we can go for select options or we can fill the field catalogs either way it's fine so i'll go for select select lfnr name one ort01 lan1 from lf1 Into table I underscore LF where LFNR in it's underscore LFNR. Once it's been done, we'll go for the field catalog sub underscore FCAT hyphen 
m underscore position is equals to 1 and in this way we have field name is equals to field name is equals to lifenr which need, needs to be in capital letters lifenr and the next one is w underscore fcat hyphen cell text underscore m is equals to vendor number now next we have to go for append w underscore fcat to it underscore fcat so once it's been done we have to do a similar kind of a, a similar kind of a code have to be written for the second column as well for the second column the field name is name one and the vendor this is a vendor name and name we have third one is work zero one that's the city And this is vendor city. Next, the fourth one is land one, that's a country. Okay. And once it's been done, so these are the these are the fields that we have here. And uh, once it's been done, we'll go ahead with the select statement. Select statement is already done. And uh, since the select statement is already been written, we'll, we'll go ahead with the field catalogs for the top of page. W underscore F cat hyphen W underscore top hyphen EYP is equal to H. This is header heading. So we'll go for H. Next, we'll have w underscore pyp, w underscore top, even the text that we have here. So another field that we're going to update. Info. So info is the another field that we're going to update here. So we'll write here info is equals to in our data we'll go for it go top append w underscore top it underscore top so once it's been done the same thing have to be done for the selection and action as well yes and this one will write it as something like 2018 fiscal year okay next what we have is like we'll go for a action and this will go for SY hyphen datum once it's been done we'll go with the we'll go with the pattern and in the pattern we'll call this reuse underscore lb underscore grid underscore display this is for the display of the data and this will be going ahead and uh, you know uncommitting the exporting needs to be done first and then we have something called top of page in the top of page what we need to do is we need to write something like uh, i'll write this as top so whatever you write here this name we need, we need to maintain a form in at the, at the bottom of the program i'll i'll show you that so once it's been done here we have this it underscore fcat 
and then we have something like it underscore LFA1. So once it's been done, so we need to maintain a form dot gun form dot gun in form. Now within this form in form we need to call a particular uh, you know a function model called commentary underscore write reuse underscore alv underscore commentary underscore write. That's the function model we need to introduce here. And once it's it's introduced here, we need to pass that it underscore top uh, the values which we have there. Okay, since I'm working in the old editor, so we are typos is mandatory. In the latest one, even if you don't write the typos, system will automatically understand what exactly is SLS and Scotty and Scott field catalog and scale V. So once it's been done, we'll execute the program and see the output. So you, we have got this and uh, here we, we didn't get the header. The reason why we didn't get that header details is because here it's mandatory for us to write the reuse underscore ALV underscore. In this we have the callback program. I underscore callback program must be given at given as SYRVPID. It's a present program name. So once we do this, it uh, you can see the top of page. It's mandatory for us to give the callback program when we are maintaining the top of page even for the interactive ALV also it will be mandatory so now once we get this we will be able to see this uh, heading header action and selection selection and action data so this is the in, uh, this is an ALV report with data and uh, top of page we can also keep the logo here uh, in in the next session or next program project I am going to also add the logo and uh, we'll also see how to add the logo and then We'll update this data. This is a ALV using a function module.